and let's work with actual dates like start and end. So it's pretty simple like the time start. We can go here and okay. Let's start it on this time and let's finish it on time. But the next one we're going to start later and finish later. Not 17, but the 17 is okay. The next one, the columns, we are going to start not 17, but uh, maybe 15 and finish about 25. And the next one, still columns. Let's start it from the first. So the start is actual start is later than planned end. It sometimes happens and now it's okay. And as you can see, if we shift our remote show plan and actual dates for this one, so this is only planned, on the actual, and this is a combination of them. We can see all these charts, this one and that one. And on status, on the task menu, you can see that. Now, this status is started after planned finish, early start, early finish, so we have some kind of status. And then, we can visit this diagram, we can use a filter, this small button, and filter by status, by this one. And we can ask NSWIP to show us only late start and late finish. Or only let's start or only let finish what we need. So we can we can use status after you got the actual start and actual end. So in real work you have plan start and plan end from your graphic and actual start and actual end from the construct from the construction site. And when you have this all the data in one program in one two in time binary you can get some this kind of the large chart of, of this process and you can analyze it very precisely. And also you can you can edit one special thing. You can let's go there and when we can get close to this process we can see such kind of icon with working process and then press the learn button and Plan work complete. So, if the plan work complete not for hundred percent, we can can fix it and we can show how much work has has done. Now we can see that some work is done. This work complete sixty nine percent. And for every every task, we can do the same thing. 